Right, this is the, we're down in Suffolk, we're doing a, um, this is a BOTT kit bike. It's a, well, it's a kit bike, I mean, it's a kit to convert your Buell into this really cool flat tracker. This one started out as a Ulysses, which is the oh, adventure bike one. Um, it actually works out better with the Ulysses than it does for any of the others because you've got a longer swing arm, so they're less likely to wheelie. I suppose you don't want it to wheelie. Um, but any Buell, uh, it was the XBR, X, XB, X, any of the Buell XBs can be converted. Um, I'll just quickly walk around it, and you can ignore the vans in the background and everything else. I'll go, I'll go around it twice, kind of. You watch the people behind me are trying to frantically run away so they don't get filmed. But it's a gorgeous bike, it sounds nice, as you'll see on the other video I'm going to put up in a minute. It's not the quietest thing in the world, obviously, because it's got one-off pipes on, but then a flat tracker shouldn't be quiet, should it? It's a race bike. So we'll come around this side and I'll just tell you a little bit more about it. Right, there we go, so you can see it now. Come around again. Um, yeah, it's a, a kit's about nine thousand euros, so it's about nine thousand pounds. But for that, you get a frame and you get loads of carbon fibre bits. You get a subframe, you get a seat, you get a fuel tank, and then just below where the exhaust is, just below, sorry, to the left of where the exhaust is, there's an extra jockey tank because obviously that tank isn't very big and it's crap and run out of petrol. Uh, there's lots of carbon fibre bits. There's a motor gadget dash, all sorts of really nice bits. You can use stock yokes. Um, off the bike, or you can have nice yokes. This one's got some made by Fast Tech. Um, it's just a glorious looking thing. And never bear in mind, it sounds lovely. As I said, as you'll see in a second when I put the other video up. But there you are, that's a BOTC flat track kit. And uh, that's one of the nicest flat track buels I think I've ever seen. Wait.